So the theme for today's masterclass is based off of Adobe Stock's creative brief, Family Life. And I'm really excited to share with you all of the knowledge that I have from my years of experience shooting stock. I'm gonna take you through all the steps of putting a shoot together, starting with the pre-production. We're gonna go over things like casting, finding the right location, thinking about props, thinking about styling. We're gonna talk about how to put a shot list together. That's an important thing for every shoot to have a little bit, a little bit of a game plan. Uh, we're gonna talk about the day of the shoot, working with talent, how to make everyone feel comfortable, how to get the most out of a location, how to make sure you get a lot of variety. And then finally, we're going to be going into post-production and I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of my workflow, a little bit of Lightroom, a little bit of how to upload your images and keyword them so that you get the most out of every stock photo that you take and submit. My name is Lisa Weatherby. I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer and I live in uh, Manhattan's Chinatown in New York. I've lived here for over a decade and what I love about this neighborhood is that every time you step outside, you're stepping into an adventure. The energy is amazing, the colors are amazing. Uh, visually, it's just a really inspiring place to live. I think that my style sort of straddles this world between commercial and editorial. I really love just being a fly on the wall, so that's where sort of this editorial love comes in for me. I love, um, I love just meeting people, hearing their story, uh, spending a day with them, and sort of letting them be themselves and capture, you know, things as they happen. So that's a big part of it as well. I think that representation is moving in the right direction when it comes to stock photography, when it comes to media. Growing up Asian American, growing up in a mixed race family, growing up with a mother who worked, I mean, I didn't always see myself or my family reflected in the stories that I saw all around me. When you see stories that you're on the periphery of, it just it does something to your confidence. It makes you feel like an outsider. I grew up wanting to change that. Um, I grew up wanting to tell stories with uh, people of color as the heroes, people of color as the star. It makes me really happy to create work like that because I feel like when you see yourself as the star, when you see yourself in the center of the story, for kids it helps them imagine that they might grow up and be something like that, that that might be something that's a possibility for them as well. So there's a few things I love about shooting stock. Um, number one, as a stock photographer, you wear so many different hats. You are the art director, you are the stylist, the prop stylist, the wardrobe stylist. Um, you're the photographer, of course, but you really have a hand in so many aspects of the story. So that's something I really do love. The other reason I love stock photography is I see it as a great opportunity. I mean, as a stock photographer, you are contributing to what is essentially a modern library, um, sort of a dictionary for what does our modern world look like, and to have the opportunity to create images that are diverse, images that are inclusive. Um, that's uh, important to me, and it's uh, another reason why I really do care about creating stock. So this masterclass is for anyone who really wants to sort of get deep into what makes a stock shoot successful. It's something I've been doing for years now, and I think that by taking this class, I'm going to walk you through all aspects of how I put a stock shoot together, from the pre-production to the casting to the day of the shoot. All these things are important, and even through the post-production, um, I'm going to take you there as well. And you know. All of everything that we talk about today is going to be based on things that I've done many times. So I'm excited to be able to share what I know with you.